Hey, it's Carrie. I'm going to talk about white tigers today. Animal welfare advocates dispute the wisdom of raising white tigers for very good reasons. Almost all of the white Bengals alive today are descended from a solitary male cup that was captured in 1951. Deliberate inbreeding has maintained the animal's recessive coloration but has also led to a whole range of health problems. Scientists have found a way around this and if you keep on listening you'll hear what happens. The white tiger's distinguishing characteristics arise from a single mutation the substitution of one amino acid for another, valine for alanine. It is a solute carrier protein that transfers specific molecules across cellular barriers. All this does is cause a decrease in external pigmentation, giving it the white colour. Most of the white tiger's prey species are colorblind, so it makes no difference with camouflage. Scientists now know how to eliminate or reduce the problems that have arisen from inbreeding amongst white tigers. So now it will be possible to identify and crossbreed pairs of Bengal tigers, each one possessing a single copy of the recessive gene. This will also help expand the gene pool of healthy animals, which is great news. The white tiger variant is viable in the wild and a natural polymorphism of the tiger. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.